Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Taurus, you guys got vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. Number 63. You're definitely at an end of a cycle. You have a 9, a 19, and a 28. This is a 10, this is a 10, and this is a 9. You're at the end of a cycle. You could be a masculine or a feminine. We'll figure that out more when we pull cards. It doesn't really matter. Um, what matters here is that you feel like coming at the end of the cycle you're like what was the point of the cycle <laughs> you're like what did i even learn here like let's just say like july begins a new cycle for everyone which i've been getting a lot a lot of endings and new beginnings here you're like what do what did i even take with me from the last year the last six months like what could i what what even happened here like was there anything even productive in my life maybe it's been longer than that maybe you've been in a cycle for years and you feel like whatever it is that's ending it's like you know what was the point of this i just see you not you're trying to grasp for like some sort of help here because you don't feel like you learned anything to be honest like you don't feel like there was a point to this you don't feel like you know this is like you know when you go in at something and you fail so you're like you know it was a waste of time and they're literally telling you with vulture spirit it wasn't <laughs> they're literally telling you here that whatever it was that happened in the cycle is actually super important whether you want to see it that way or not, it's the truth. Because sometimes, um, like things are not for us and things are not meant to work out for us. But we are supposed to take something from that cycle. We are supposed to take something from that person. It's like a relationship ends and you're like, well, why, why did I even get myself into this relationship? I'm so stupid. And they're like, no, it was such an important relationship. You learned this, 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 and that. And you learned that, that, that about yourself. And you learned this, this, and that. So again, it might be an ending of a relationship because I'm getting that as like the first example I said and our second example I said and now that's kind of like resonating with me so I'm feeling like yeah that might be like what's going on here like an ending like a with a person and you're just like what the fuck was the point of this like did I even learn something you did there's some realization that you came to um and I think that's actually what the tower is the tower is that you did learn something and maybe you're holding that back from yourself Let's just say like you had the perfect partner in terms of like what everybody wants you to marry, like the perfect everything. And like you couldn't stand that person or you literally were like, I'm done with this relationship. I don't want to be with this person. Um, it kind of points to like what it is that you want. And I think that's what's a surprise to you, Taurus. Like what you want is a surprise to you. What you, the conclusion is not like the fact that this ended that's like, you know. <laughs> um, I don't think that's what the surprise is. I think the surprise is what you want. Like, you could lie to yourself or you could lie to everybody else and be like, yeah, this is what I want. This is what I want. And then you have it, maybe that's what you had. And you're like, well, I don't want it. So I think that's what the surprise is here. The surprise is you not necessarily knowing yourself well enough. And now that you're learning more about yourself, you're like, fuck. <laughs> um, like, who even am I? Like, who am I? Like, I didn't know that this would happen this way. And now I just feel super confused. So I definitely feel you not being surprised by the fact that this is ending being more surprised by the fact of like who it is that you are or what the ending of this cycle or relationship is pointing at about you so let's pull more cards on the stores Taurus, this is a very interesting read. The more cards I pull, it's like very confusing to be honest. Um, it, it's it's a lot. There's a lot here. Every card here is in reverse, like at the bottom. The only card upright is the fact that you have the five of wands, which is like mental conflict in this deck, right? So I see you mad about a lot of things. Like you're upset. You're upset, but you're mainly upset with yourself. And there's the, let's go let's start here so you're you're mad at yourself and someone here is mad at themselves i don't know if this is someone you're connected to source or you yourself but i'm getting this masculine energy again this is you learning who you who it is that you are but you feel like you like took the long road to get there right and with the king of cups in reverse yeah it's like you put a lot of work into something that you yourself 
yeah like you rushed something you rushed something here um with the hangman in reverse but like it was something that you didn't even want like it was something that you were confused about from the beginning but i feel like you rushed into it or you just rushed like again there there's no cup energy here there's no like actual love or desire for this but you rushed yourself into it anyway so this is kind of feeling like you are kind of just like um you know when you're reacting and you're not thinking so you're like not in a great headspace you're not in a good heart place and like an opportunity comes by and you're just like fuck it i'll just take it because like you know what else am i doing with myself um this is kind of like what that is reminding me of it's like i don't really know what i'm doing right now i feel like you were imbalanced at the time when this decision was made um and yeah you you like jumped into a relationship i think with the three of coins like you just jumped into it and it was because you didn't want to hear your higher self you didn't want to talk to yourself like you were having conversations with yourself and you're like you know how can i silence myself right now <laughs> how can i tell myself to shut the fuck up oh i know jump into something completely like just fuck it like and i feel like you your higher self was speaking to you and you were like shut the fuck up like i don't want to hear it um i just want like the noise to quiet um, if that means like I'm with this person and then I'm with this person, even if I'm not sure about this person, even if I'm like rushing into something here and rushing into put in work and shit that I don't necessarily even know if I want, I'm going to run into it. Like, so is this some masculine here just like ran into a relationship? Boom. Um, it wasn't like with Destiny in Reverse, I feel like, um, it's like you were avoiding something the entire time. Like, I think you've just been avoiding yourself. Like you've just been avoiding yourself. You've been avoiding how you feel. You've been avoiding what your thoughts are. You've been avoiding all the shit to your, like, like the, or yourself is trying to tell yourself, you know? It's like when you're, when you're trying to figure something out and your brain is like kind of telling you the answer and you go and you, instead of like just sitting with yourself and listening to yourself and meditating, you go and you put on like the TV, right? So you're just kind of like numbing the, the brain right now. Or it's like, you know, you go for a drink or something and you're just like, fuck it. Um, I'll quiet the mind like this. Like you just wanted the, your own self to shut the fuck up and you did, you did accomplish that. And I feel like this relationship was something that helped you do that. It's something that helped you like quiet the mind. It's something that helped you just like release some sort of pain um, within yourself in terms of like the fact that your mind is trying to communicate to you and the fact that you don't want to hear what it has to say. So yeah, it's like after all this time, whatever the thought was that you were avoiding, whatever it was that you kept avoiding, it comes back now. And that's why you're like, what was the point of this relationship? Because like at the end of it, what's surprising me is the fact that the same fucking thought is here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cursing a lot. I don't know why, but the same thought is here. The same thought that you had, the same process is coming back again. So it's like, again, why did I go the long way? And I think what, what's going on here is like there's a subcon subconscious thought or there's something here that's bothering you. Or there's a thought here that you need to look at. There's something here that you have to look at. I'm thinking it's a cup thing. It's an emotional thing for you. We have the three of cups and the eight of cups surrounding you. There's something here that you, you need to look at and you kept avoiding it. And I think you just ran into this relationship to avoid those thoughts. Now I see with perception that you're you're like maybe i have to take a look at this maybe i have to actually like <laughs> um put on the glasses you know take a look meditate like the thoughts are coming in and i can't even stop them anymore so why not just look at it and i feel like this has taken a long time obviously i mean you, you you've been through a whole relationship and the same thought came from the beginning to the end the same thought is a reoccurring it's like it's like you're not you can't avoid it see like your higher self is trying to talk to you about something from the past with the knight of coins in reverse and here i have an again an ace of coins in reverse so this is like what's actually bothering you some sort of opportunity that you missed or something from the past that's like comes keeps coming back into your mind and you wanted to quiet the mind so you just like did whatever you could but i'm getting again this is what your higher self is trying to communicate to you about this is what they're trying to talk to you about this is what your like brain is like and your heart is like, hey, like, let's talk about this. And you're like, no. <laughs> um, and now I see you finally, I think that's what this tower is. You finally allowed for yourself to like have this conversation with yourself. You finally allowed for like the feelings to come up. Um, maybe you had a lot of feelings that were built up and you just didn't want to cry. You didn't want to purge. You didn't want to think about this um, person or opportunity or whatever this was. Whatever this ace was that you missed out on. 
this is literally what you've this is what you've been thinking about it comes with a ton of pentacles in reverse so i'm wondering if like this has to do with a family member or someone that you felt was like family to you a person a relationship whatever um but this is literally all you think about we'll see with the four of cups it's like you can't you're holding on to it even when you don't want to be maybe you rejected this offer and you regret rejecting it i, I don't know but yeah maybe this is something that you wish you would have put time into and you have a lot of regrets i see i see regrets here like honestly regrets and now the the regrets are still there um and you're that's something that you're you're willing to accept now you're just like fuck it um i can't avoid it anymore they're not even talking about this relationship that you ran into they're not even talking about like whatever it is that you are getting out of they're telling you that it's not wasted because this whole relationship has led you back to the single point that you need to look at and you're like well i could have looked at it before and not ha and have saved everyone the agony and saved everyone the pain of this stupid relationship and they're like no it wasn't stupid because it helped it helped you like this is what you needed um sometimes we need we all need different things <laughs> that's what i'm getting we all need different things to get us to where we need to go and this is what you needed you needed like this this relationship helped in some sort of way and that's what i'm getting your higher self was trying to show you something this entire time and you're finally having that conversation with yourself and that is allowing movement in your life so taurus whatever truth um that you're getting whatever whatever truth it is that you've been avoiding um for the longest time could have been i mean pentacles is years so it could have been years um you're finally allowing that energy and that is allowing you to set, that is setting you free in some sort of way and i see you here breaking the chains you see here with the six of pentacles someone is chained you're breaking those chains so again this is nothing this is not wasted time at all um i think you just thought that these thoughts and feelings would go away this person would get out of your mind this whatever this was this regret that you have that it would go away and it, it didn't go away it just it was something again that you needed to look at and you finally did and that's going to allow so much movement in your life taurus so again nothing is wasted i don't really want to look into your regret because i don't feel like it matters i feel like what matters is the fact that you acknowledge it you were just not wanting to acknowledge this for the longest time and you finally acknowledge it and you break the chains and you have six and six here this probably has to do with love <laughs> but yeah let's see what your advice is because again nothing is wasted this whole relationship that you got into to avoid a conversation with yourself it ended and you finally had that conversation with yourself so i feel like what's next for you Taurus, I see that you're coming up as a true pair to somebody, the Queen of Cups. So this is probably the person that you've been avoiding thinking about. And what I'm getting here with the Two of Swords is like, again, by thinking about them, by acknowledging what happened, by taking a look at the past, I think you're thinking about how you treated this person again. Um, maybe you have regrets about how the relationship ended. Maybe you have regrets about how you treated this person. Whatever the regret is here, how things ended with this person, whatever it is. Um... I see you here once you acknowledge it again it's just it's like maybe you can't change what happened but you can take a look at it acknowledge it it's just acknowledging how you feel acknowledging what happened acknowledgement like looking at it and seeing it for what it was and seeing your role in it and acknowledging like that it was painful and acknowledging maybe it wasn't fair and acknowledging like all the shit that you needed to look at in the past that you kept avoiding um it leaves you feeling a lot better with the nine of swords in reverse and i also see it leaves you free to move you see how the phoenix is the king of wands here the phoenix is re is a bird that takes its ashes and rebuilds itself up again so that's exactly what i see you doing and with justice here i feel like the divine's like finally <laughs> the divine's like yes finally this person um see like this this knowledge that you were so afraid to look at this regret that like pained you so much i feel it's actually gonna set you free because it's like you know it's kind of reminding me of like you know when you have to do something really hard and like you keep thinking oh my god tomorrow morning i have to do this and like oh my god it's the worst thing like after you just get it done with and you it's done you feel so free and liberated and it's like it wasn't as bad as it was what i thought it was or maybe it was exactly as bad as i thought it was but it's over now right but imagine like you keep um 
like extending it, extending it, extending it, extending it, extending it. Um, it just becomes a burden and it just becomes something that you can't even stop thinking about at the end of the day. And you, and you can like, again, it's just like you got it done. You looked at it. Um, you acknowledged how you felt, even if it's a regret of yours, it does set you free and it does allow movement in your life. Um, there's something about birds here, you know, we have the vulture and then we have the king of wands. You could have, um, Aries, Leo or Sag in your chart. Um, or this could just be really significant of how this, this is going to change your life. This is the rebirth that you've been wanting for a really long time and you're finally giving it to yourself. So again, this relationship was not a waste of time. Whoever you decided to collaborate with to like forget about how your pain felt and forget about all this shit, um, it ended up coming right back and that's okay because now you finally took a look at it. You're finally freeing yourself. You're finally acknowledging what happened here and I think that's all this is going to bring a new beginning into your life. So. Taurus, let's pull some advice. Taurus, look at all the birds you got. <laughs> you got the owl and another vulture. Look up the vulture. You have the vulture twice. You have the phoenix, the owl, the crow. Um, you have a lot of birds. This is like so indicative of like the divine, right? That's how the divine can communicate with us through birds usually. Um, you know, I think that the vulture right now could be a totem animal or spirit animal or some an animal that they want you to look at. So look up the vulture. Um, this has been an upheaval. Yes, this has been something that like you have to, again, you could not avoid it. You couldn't go around it. Like you had to go through it. And um, they're telling you that this brings you wisdom. This brings you freedom. This brings you a rebirth. This brings you so many things um, if you look at it that way. So don't look at it in the negative way. Look at it in the positive way. And... And the positive way is that you've set yourself free, that you've taken a look at this information, that you've seen the truth of whatever the truth was. Um, and if you had to cry, you cried. If it was painful, it was painful. But again, you like moving through the energy instead of blocking it over and over and over and over again. So you have Diana, the queen of the wilderness. The language of the natural world is a frequency of love. This is my mother tongue. Yeah, it's a lot about how, again, like the spiritual realm has been trying to communicate with you through the natural world. So maybe you've been missing a lot of signs. Um, of course you were though, because again, I feel like you were just trying to avoid for so long feelings that you had and like real shit that you need to talk about with yourself. And I'm getting here that I think this is going to open you back up to love because I feel like you are sitting in king of cup energy in reverse, you know, so you were sitting in an energy of like, love is not for me and I don't need love in my life and I don't really care what happens and like, it's not important what happened in the past with this person and I could care less. Like you were just fronting a lot and I feel like now you can set yourself back into the feelings that you had when you were so ready for love. Like this can give you a new chance to love again, you know what I mean? By like ending this, pain and ending all the shit and like realizing it was what it was and it was painful and it was hard but at the end of the day like I need to move on and have a, a real new beginning not a fake one where I'm just like you know trying to avoid shit but a real one where like I accept how I feel and someone accepts me for who I am and you know we I try to do this the right way <laughs> um I want to see like I mean I do see you having a new beginning and justice being brought into your life um Yeah, I see you going into a relationship, like a real one after this, like a real, like, um, maybe you tried and you thought you were doing that, but again, like, it maybe didn't, it, maybe it wasn't really real because, again, you were not feeling anything, you were numb. So now it's like doing things the, the way that maybe you used to do it before all this pain happened, like being open again to love, being open, opening up your heart again, basically. So that's what I'm getting, Taurus. I also had, kept hearing Leo. So some of you guys might have Leo in your chart. But yeah, I see you guys being ready to do this all over again, but the right way. <laughs> so yeah, I love you guys. I hope that this helps and I'll see you next time. Bye.